Hello boys and girls. In today's video, we will be traveling to Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and we will explore the United 93 Memorial, built in honor of the brave men and women on the flight that fought back. Hello, History and Heritage Explorers. Today, we're outside of Shanksville, Pennsylvania, at the Flight 93 National Memorial. Today, we will be looking at this memorial and what happened on that day on September the 11th, 2001. Tuesday morning, September 11, 2001, started like any other day. The sky was clear and blue across most of the country. Millions of American men and women went about their daily business. Children were in or getting to school. America was about to change. Like every other day, thousands of people were taken to the skies, flying on business trips, family matters, or vacation. Sadly, this was not the case for the passengers and crew of four flights. Al-Qaeda terrorists hijacked four commercial airliners in a planned attack against the United States. These terrorists intentionally flew two jetliners into the Twin Towers in New York City and a third aircraft into the Pentagon building in Arlington, Virginia. A fourth aircraft, United Flight 93, crashed into an open field in Somerset County, Pennsylvania. This was the first time that hijacked airliners were used as weapons. The four aircraft strikes killed nearly 3,000 people in the deadliest attack on American soil. This is the Flight 93 story. The first news reports of the attack of that day were ones of confusion. At first, it was thought that a tragic accident had taken place in New York City. A small airplane has crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. That was being reported. It was actually American Airlines Flight 11. 17 minutes later at 9.03, a second airplane, United Flight 175, hit the South Tower. It was now understood that America was under attack. At 9.37, just outside of Washington, D.C., a third airplane, United Airlines Flight 77, crashed into the Pentagon building. United Airlines Flight 93 was flying from Newark, New Jersey to San Francisco, California with seven crew, 37 passengers, four of them being hijackers. The aircraft was scheduled to depart at 8 a.m., but was delayed until 8.42. The hijacking began at 9.28 over Eastern Ohio, and by 9.30, passengers and crew began making phone calls from the air phones. In all, 37 calls were made with 10 passengers and two crew members able to make contact with family, friends, or airline officials on the ground. Soon, the people on Flight 93 learned of the attacks at the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. Now realizing that they would be used as a weapon against their fellow citizens, the passengers were faced with a decision, do nothing or stand and fight. The passengers voted and attempted to overtake the hijackers and retake the plane or cause the plane to crash before it could be used as a weapon. As flight attendants boiled water to throw on the terrorists and passengers prepared to fight, several on board Flight 93 were on the phone with loved ones or airline officials informing them of their plans. The passenger revolt started at 9.57. At 10.03, Flight 93 crashed into a field outside of Shanksville, Pennsylvania. For over five minutes, the passengers fought bravely. They chose to write their own history and it was later determined that the terrorists planned to crash Flight 93 either into the White House or most likely the Capitol building. The men and women aboard Flight 93 are heroes. Their actions saved many lives and helped inspire a wounded nation. The Flight United 93 National Memorial is a memorial built to commemorate and honor the heroes of United Airlines Flight 93 who stopped the terrorists from using their plane to attack the White House or the U.S. Capitol building. The memorial is located two miles north of Shanksville, Pennsylvania. In the days after the attacks of September 11th, the crash site was a crime scene with federal law enforcement investigators collecting evidence and the remains of passengers and crew. Soon after, the site was fenced off and was only accessible by federal authorities as well as the victim's family members. 
A temporary memorial was built on a hillside 500 yards from the crash site. The memorial included a 40-foot chain link fence, which is the length commemorating the 40 passengers and crew, on which visitors could leave flowers, messages, rosaries, and other items. These items were collected by the National Park Service and archived. After years of planning, raising funds, acquiring the land, and finalizing a design, ground was broken on the United 93 Memorial. Today, the site has a visitor center that includes a museum, along with a book and gift shop. The visitor center has a walkway that traces the flight's path to an observation space that overlooks the land of the crash site. Closer to the impact site, the memorial walkway with a wall marking the northern edge of the crash site leads to the wall of names that lists the 40 passengers and crew. The wall of names leads to a gate that the family members who lost their loved ones pass so they can visit the sacred ground of selfless sacrifice made by those aboard Flight 93.
In 2017, construction of a 93-foot-tall monument, the Tower of Voices, began. The tower contains 40 wind chimes, one for each passenger and crew member that died in the crash. The tower was completed in September of 2020 with the final wind chimes installed. And remember, boys and girls, to learn more about the events that happened on September 11th, come to your local or school library and check out one of the many books written about that tragic day.